Hello, Cancer! Cancer, Cancer, Cancers! Ugh. All right, so Cancers, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I absolutely refuse to be trapped in my room anymore, okay? So I needed to move upstairs to the living room. So you guys are in my living room right now. <laughs> Um, and I feel so much better, okay? But here's the thing. It is like 9 o'clock at night, Cancers. I wasn't even really going to do another video tonight. I was going to wait to do your video until tomorrow morning. But no, I'm, I was called to the table, all right? Um, picking up on energy around you, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's your person, Cancers. Um, yeah, they're daydreaming about you again, okay? Not really fully knowing if they want to take the responsibility, but beginning to look at themselves um, a little bit closer and knowing that, you know, they failed you. Feel like they failed you. Yeah. Feel like they failed. Or at least they feel that way. Um, heartbroken, you know, all jubilatus, hurt, sitting in a corner, sad, just wanting a new beginning, Cancer. That's what I'm getting here. So listen, Cancers, um, let's, uh, let me get through my spiel and we'll get into it, okay, my darlings? <laughs> I wasn't really fully prepared to do a Cancer read, but I was called to the, ta to the table to do it, and here we go. Cancers, my darlings, I love you. I'm actually really happy to be able to spend some time with you guys are like my besties, okay? Um, but anyway, yeah, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. It just means that I didn't pick up on your energy for this story, okay? Uh, but if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel and help it grow. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. <laughs> and this channel is for adults only. All right, so listen, Cancer, I'm sitting on a footstool. That's a, it's actually a little beanbag seat, okay? All right, so... Um, yeah, uh, Cancer, your person, I feel, is uh, brokenhearted over this, okay? They want their happiness. I feel like they, they are really broken up about this. In despair, feeling like a failure here. Look at, look at how shadowy and dark. This is them in their mind here, thinking about this stuff. You know, I mean... Knowing they failed at, at basically a ten of cups, okay? Basically, this is a ten of cups situation, a fairy tale ending, like uh, happiness all around, happiness, abundance, everything, beautiful. And look at how sad and regretful this person is. Oh, they want this new beginning. And they want it bad. They know this could have been abundant. And they're broken hearted over this. Sad. Sad and broken hearted. See? She doesn't look sad to me though. She's like, eh. You know, but yeah, it's supposed to be sad. Yep. Over their happiness. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, this person, you have this person out left out in the cold. They are, oh my, they are upset. Or this could have been you. They hurt you this bad, perhaps. I don't know. I see this person crying. Um, yeah, they feel left out in the cold. Even the bird looks angry. Look, and this isn't the kind of like fluffy, love me, love me, cancer. No, 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 no. This is the love me, love me, Cancer. Okay, so I'm hearing, oh, okay, I'm hearing a song.
It's misty blue. I'm hearing misty blue. Uh, um, oh, geez, how does it go? Oh, it's been such a long, long time, right? It's been a long, long time, and it looked like they'd get you off of their mind. Yeah, but they can't. Just the thought of you turns their whole world Misty blue. Okay. Yeah. Love me. This person just wants to get back into your good graces. They want your love back. They're very, very sad, broken hearted. Um, yeah, they, they want to start something new here with their divine feminine. This could be you, Cancer. I'm telling you. Feeling all butt hurt like Jubilatus. Okay. I feel like you are in the spotlight or perhaps their secrets are coming out because they're they're coming from a place where they were they were in a home situation with somebody who was sneaky who's really trying to keep them there no matter how hard they're trying to leave this person is it's he's there this person's energetically trying to go and there's someone hanging on and pulling them back. Your person could be overindulging, um, numbing, numbing their pain, but watching you, I feel, in this home situation, I feel like they're very, very upset because, you know, they got themselves in this corner. You can't make a cat sit in a corner, okay? So Jubilatus is sitting his own butt in that corner, all upset that things didn't go his way, okay? And fa feeling fairly isolated from everything else around him, but he's isolating himself because he's angry at his own decisions, you know? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Your person is seeing you like this, Cancer. They don't know whether to arm wrestle you or kiss you, okay? All they know is that they love you. <laughs> how do you do it? I can't do it right. Anyway, yeah, they love you. They're holding on for dear life, see? Holding on to your arm. This person doesn't want to let you go. So they're hanging on to your energy, okay? the essence of you, that feeling of you, the remembering you and how you were, more importantly, how you were to them and how you made them feel, okay? Because you, you had this person's back. You were somebody that they could confide in. You were warm you were a lover and a friend. I feel like probably a friend first. This person knows that this is a uh, soulmate connection here, possibly a divine one. Holding the harp, they know. I feel like this person is really in love with you. They just don't know. They've never... They've never, I don't think they've ever really felt all of these different things all at once, you know? They keep looking back at you. This is someone, too, who I think they, they let you go before because he's looking back at you, you know? You, me, this is them trying to figure out exactly what happened in the connection I feel what happened what exactly I he's trying to like you know not wanting to take full responsibility in this I feel but yet knowing that he th th just reviewing everything and knowing that they have to take responsibility for this you know what I mean they're naked here they don't have much to cover up with anymore. They're naked. That means everything is coming out in the open, okay? 
this person they feel like they failed this that's what this ten of cups is here they feel like they failed you they failed themselves you know yeah so then okay so we can put these back then we got um actually you know we're gonna leave this one out because this person's heartbroken they're heartbroken and i feel like they're in agony because i'm hearing it again they're playing it for me again um she like screams in it Whoa! right she's like bah! you know so I feel like they're in agony it just it's like intense for this person they're almost screaming to get out you know um, how do the words go again I can't remember um, they just they 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 can't forget you their whole world turns misty blue when they think of you okay um, because they're in love this person's in love but this is a choice I feel like this person is finally making a choice because they quite simply just can't figure out how why they can't get you off of their mind but they're missing you like crazy like crazy I really feel like this person's in love I feel like they made a previous choice too to they, this is a choice in love but the choice that they made before was for wealth it was for money it was about money it was about uh, financial security maybe um, stability it wasn't for love this person has a choice to make for love or, or for money for love or for money and they failed they failed this person feels very deeply like they failed and that's why they're heartbroken that's it that's it they love you their mind their soul their thoughts their everything keeps going back to you and they're holding on tight to that energy because they know it's something special here cancer they want this new beginning and this is the Holy Grail cup of love and honestly this is a gift from the divine this is a connection that really truly was supposed to come together you know this is a gift from the divine this is the Holy Grail cup of love a brand new beginning in love the real deal the real deal this person I'm not reading reversals they're having a tower moment here okay their their whole foundation everything their whole world is kind of falling apart they are so burdened by this they're going to have to drop these burdens here soon you know but yeah i feel like this person's having a tower moment over this because they want this new beginning like I said, Cancer, they want this new beginning, baby. And look, behold, with Cancer. <laughs> That's what I love about this deck. Because, the, the, yeah, they're pointing right at the Cancer symbol. Okay, anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. But maybe that's just me. But anyway, your person, they probably feel like a fool. Because I feel like they chose money over love here when it came to you and boy do they know now that they made a mistake yeah yeah they want a new beginning here you could be dealing with an Aries um, another water sign even a Taurus Virgo uh, la, 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 la. I think that's what I saw so far yeah look at you they know this is this old cycle has come to a completion okay that new cycle is starting cancer and look at how you're like magnificent you're absolutely magnificent you've look the world card isn't just a completion card of the last cycle okay this is a graduation card darlings this card comes with a whole lot of effort 
a whole lot of knowledge a lot of work done on yourself your future your financial abundance manifestation spiritual journey learning everything skill everything right uh, healing lots of healing yeah this card came with a lot of lessons cancer and you have passed with flying colors it's graduation day babies you know so you you cross from the old cycle into the new one and look at you've elevated you've changed everything about you is like magic you know you're 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 on a spiritual journey and you're taking your cues from the divine and you're just courageous about it and you're it's like you're floating you're you're vibing so high you know pentacles may be rolling in for you and I feel like your person they've been watching you this whole time they've been watching you glow look at you all done up your hair's done your makeup's on you know you are wearing your crown cancer where you must have the crown okay yeah, all in your ball gown and everything this is a reunitement card yes but I see a lot in this card I see them freaking watching you like a hawk probably on a TV screen or computer something bigger though I see you're vibing really hard uh, really hard you're vibing <laughs> you're vibing really high okay and so this person that this is what they see they see you absolutely glowing they see you as an empress okay but behind them if you look really close this person is wearing like a week old hoodie okay seriously could probably stand on its own at this point and behind them is like a mound of mess right there's like a Doritos bag over here and you know they've got some Dunkin Donuts cup or something over here and crap all over the floor you know old candy wrappers and whatever they've got a mess over here and it's caught like the edge of their sweatshirt so they're like caught by all of this they can't come towards you until they clean up this mess cancer they want to reunite but they have a lot of mess behind them that they've got to clean up and they should probably shower you know change their hoodie and they should change their hoodie okay at least come on <laughs> right but that's what I'm seeing there but this person they want this new beginning with you and you're absolutely amazing but we knew that right we knew that what else can you show me here for cancer yeah this is just gonna be I'm we're doing this together cancer <laughs> I wasn't prepared to do a reading for you I was like walking around in my jammies you know I let my hair down a little and was chilling. I had all my equipment turned off. I'm like, oh, I I guess I'm doing a cancer reading. This is a twin flame soulmate connection cancer. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. <laughs> I feel like, you know, your person, they know, man. They know. Cancer, come on. <sighs> They know, you know how they know, because they've been watching you, Cancer. They've been watching you. They've been watching you, and you've been proving it this whole time. You've been proving the divine journey. You've been proving the prophecy. You've been proving all of the information. You've been proving everything that you said. You've been you're backing up everything that you do. You're just, you're wonderful. And the, I mean, all it takes is one glance honestly though this person they can't get enough they can't stop watching you is what I'm feeling like because now they're realizing they're realizing what happens when you choose money over love you end up with tears see yeah now they realize they know this connection but here's the thing they want to see you face to face I feel okay 
I don't know why I just blurted that out. Because I wasn't even thinking that. So yeah, they want to see you, but you don't really trust this person, okay? You don't trust them. Uh, you're looking at them like, um, because they hurt you before. You know, they hurt you before, Cancer. Because they, they sold you out, man. They sold you out, but the thing here is they, they kind of sold themselves to the devil instead. And they didn't realize that because you're the one who actually bossed up. Look at you! Cancer. Yeah, you're the one who bossed up here. Yeah, you're a hottie. And you're probably a boss. You could be a business owner. You're growing your pentacles. And you're helping to grow others. You're helping other people too. You know? They can't help but see this stuff. Cancer, they... They chose poorly. Poorly. And they know. Oh, they know. Tower. Again. Coming down on their foundation. Oop. Once again. But they, you know, they can't stop watching you. They can't stop learning about you. They can't stop wanting to reunite with you, Cancer. You know, for some reason, they still just remain caught in this mess behind them here. See? They still won't clean this up, you know? They're, I think they're going to have to now because, honestly, whatever foundation they were on before cancer is freaking coming down. Kaboom. It's coming down. I feel like this person may feel kind of inadequate. They're watching you. They're... King of Swords energy, you know, you could be dealing with an air sign, but this person is clearly watching. Look at those beady little eyes. Look at the little beady eyes. Look at the beady eyes, Cancer. <laughs> Hiding underneath that hat with something to say, okay? I feel like this person wants to communicate here. I feel like they're sitting here trying to think of a smart way to communicate. See, because you know what? They kind of waited a bit too long to come to you, Cancer. We know the story. Um, all the love has been frozen over here, okay? Frozen over. This person waited too long to decide between you and someone else. And now, now they want to come towards you and the other foundation has fallen apart. They need to think of a very smart way to talk to you, to approach you, because you are not in like waste your time kind of energy, okay? You're not a waste your time kind of chick or dude. Take it however it resonates. Nothing's ever gender specific, okay? But you know, you're not going to waste your time. You Look, your time is precious. You're growing something here. You're growing yourself. Yeah, they need to come up with a smart way to communicate. Ah. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm feeling goofy tonight, Cancer, but, you know, like... I had everything turned off and you guys called me. Something about your energy. And the Divine's like, we gotta do it. And I said, alright, let's do it. That one fell off the table. Healing, the star, you could be dealing with um, an Aquarius. This person's making a wish for you, man. They're watching you and wishing. All this person can do right now is watch and wish. I feel like, you know, they're inadequate because they, or I feel like they feel inadequate because you are a boss lady who doesn't waste your time and they've already wasted a ton of your time, right? They have no idea how to heal this. They're just going on a wish. 
and a hope and a prayer. <laughs> They're going on a wish and a hope and a prayer. Yeah, that they can heal this with you because they really don't have a plan. They're trying. They're trying to think of a smart way. Smart words, maybe, to communicate with you. I don't know. Smart words. <laughs> How about this situation is so dang egregious? <laughs> oh, shoot. Whatever. It sucks, dude, okay? Anyway, <laughs> you know, I mean, the big thing here is that they want to communicate. I'm sorry, Cancer. I'm just really feeling goofy because I, I was very relaxed and kind of chill, and all of a sudden, boom, we're doing a reading for Cancer. So, but yeah, that's what the energy's been doing, though. It's been pulling us, you know? Anywho, yeah, your person wants this Ten of Cups, man. This is, this is... <laughs> This is a fairy tale ending, Cancer, okay? Fairy tale ending. Usually though, in in this in the picture of the Ten of Cups, all the people are like squished together and jumping around gleefully. Okay? Gleefully. But in this picture, you guys are like there's a fair degree of separation here, Cancer. You guys have been separate for a while. Your person can feel it, you can feel it, but you can also feel what's hanging in the balance is that right here this fountain underneath all of this overflow of emotion is that ace of cups baby a new beginning if you guys could get past or get if you guys could get around this emotion here this pit of emotion you guys could possibly have this new beginning in love that's the ace of cups Okay, oops. And that's what your person is thinking about. That is like the main goal here. Let's get a different deck though. I want to go with this one. This urban deck has been really cool lately. So how else does this person feel about cancer? I would consider this just an energy check in cancer. Okay. This urban deck is new and it's really hard for me to shuffle because it's just really long. So, you know, I apologize in advance for my absolute mess, but all right, let's see what we got. The filmmaker, Prince of Cups. Cancer, I kind of, I feel like this person wants to apologize and I feel like they want to kind of schmooze you a little bit, but it's going to be like an act, okay? Does that make sense? It's going to be an act. It's going to be an illusion. I feel like they want to create an illusion or give you some kind of illusion here. Ah, great. Great. What do we have here with the Prince of Cups? You know, this is usually a, an apology, but that's not how I'm seeing this, this depiction here. That's not how I'm seeing it. Could be schmoozing too. Whatever this is, it's, it's an illusion, I feel. Okay. And the star. I kind of feel like you are the star, Cancer. I feel like you are the star. And I feel like you're very balanced and I feel like you're kind of dreamy. I feel like you're manifesting right now. You're sort of in manifestation mode. You know, dreaming up the things for your future. It's very dreamy here. Maybe checking into all the possibilities that you come across. Because you're on a journey. I feel like you've already started a brand new journey for yourself. And you're alone here. With the star, you know, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is also someone making a wish, having hope. Having, you know, having hope. And hoping that their wish comes true. 
You could be dealing with a Virgo. But this is someone going within. I feel like they're making a plan here. I feel like they're planning, they're hoping, they're wishing, but they're trying to figure out because still, with this out here, this person is smart about the way they communicate, okay? This King of Swords energy here. So they're going within. Yes, they're very hopeful. They're hopeful that whatever kind of illusions they give you, I feel, are going to work. That's sort of that... I feel like this person may come in with some illusion as some kind of act. Some kind of act. Yeah. Because they're in sorrow. They're in sorrow right now because they want to take charge of the situation, perhaps. This was a third party situation. And there's just been a lot of heartbreak. I feel like your person is heartbroken. I feel like I feel like in the hangman position all that, that that has happened out of this is that they've lost money. And I feel like there's a there's a degree of anger here too. See? Empowerment. Maybe even like this is this is from a misuse of power, perhaps. I, I feel like they've been with the snake, and I feel like they're starting to realize that. I feel like this person's been with the snake, and and they've been a snake, and they're realizing it. I think it's putting a lot of stress on them, like health wise especially um, this person could be experiencing heart problems or breathing issues heart palpita palpitations or chest pains or circulation issues circulation something about circulation but yeah, this person is losing money, heartbroken. They may even feel betrayed in a third party situation. You know? For some of you, honestly, it could be so bad that this person could be with the razor blade here. They could even be, you know, thinking of about suicide perhaps or maybe there's been a suicide around them some you know with someone they know I'm seeing this fist come down like they're very very angry and upset because this person is losing control they don't have control over the situation you know and they don't have control over you and I feel like you know you're just happy and bopping around and designing a Cinderella dress you know yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling like here for you, Cancer. Oh, good heavens. Hold on. My deck just dumped on the floor. All right, Cancer. Sorry about that. My whole deck dumped on the floor. <laughs> my guess is, is they want a few more cards out of it. So we're just going to pull a couple more just to be on the safe side. I think that's what they want. Sorry, and then I started roasting. Oh my gosh. What is going on with the energy tonight, Cancer? Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of you are feeling the same way I am. Kind of antsy, but yet relaxed. Like, maybe you just feel like dancing around or maybe cooking something. You know, I thought about baking a pie. Um, you know, playing some music, burning some incense, that kind of thing, you know? Just sort of chilling, right? And here, I mean, maybe maybe we're all going to be up late or something, working on something, but whatever it is, we're going to be enjoying ourselves. That's how I feel. But your person, holy cow, man, they're, it's heating up, Cancer. Like, I wish you could feel this intense. It feels like an engine overheating almost, you know? Kinda. Oh, yeah, you're the, but here you are, like, just happy, being an empress, every queen in the deck, 
taking care of home stuff, like I said, probably cooking something up, like I said, being all dreamy, like I said. Yeah, this is you tonight. You're just fine. So this has to be your person because I am like overheating here. Yeah, I think your person is completely trapped in their mind here about this crap. Maybe wanting to go to calmer waters. No, that's not what I'm seeing though. I'm seeing that they're stuck. I'm seeing that they're stuck with the devil. Trapped in their mind because they're stuck in devil energy. You know, and this devil looks like, you know, Joe Cool, right? This is somebody that would actually lure you in. You would be completely unsuspect. Well, no, I maybe not completely unsuspecting, but like he looks kind of alluring, you know? And here's the shackle right there. I feel like this person has clarity now. And I feel like, I just feel like they're stuck in their mind about this. I feel like they're mentally trapped with devil energy. That's really what I'm getting off of that, I've got to say. And I usually don't read the Seven of Swords that way. Truce. This person is just doing a lot of meditating. They know they hurt you in a third party situation. They could have communicated to you like a total butt wad, okay, but whatever it is, or cut you out, stuck a sword in your back maybe, you know, whatever they did to you, and now they want a truce, they want to call a truce, they're meditating over this, like I said, how to communicate this the smart way, you know, this is too many, but... They may want to fight for this. I feel like this could be inner turmoil though. Because this wheel of fortune is turning. They may not want it to. I feel like just with the weight, because I'm not reading reversals guys, okay? I'm just not because they always fly out, flip out. So anyway, um, yeah, I feel like this person has been watching you. I feel like they want to take action. I feel like they have something to say, but they're they're holding back their um their communication intentionally for now. I feel like they're not real happy though. They're getting ready to fight for this, I feel. They're getting ready to fight for this. And that wheel, it's going to start happening for you, Cancer, I'm telling you. That wheel of fortune is turning. The wheel's turning, man. The wheel's turning, Cancer. <laughs> so it's happening. Your person, I feel, is very disappointed. Disappointment. Look at flowers, broken vase on the floor. All of that water and emotion spilled out. Everything broken over here. It looks like there's been a complete and utter mess. It looks like they've been smashing. This person could have been walking around smashing things, trying to let out some of that intense, you know, feeling here. Because otherwise, they've been stuck inside just thinking about you, studying you, watching you, learning about you. What are you doing? What's going on with cancer? Is cancer seeing anyone? Is cancer talking to anyone? Is cancer going anywhere? <laughs> you know what I mean? They're studying you, probably late at night, you know, with a little light on, cancer. They're just watching you, all heartbroken, breaking stuff, because they're disappointed in themselves. They're disappointed in themselves for how they've treated you. You know, I don't think they realized exactly who you were when they when they made a crappy choice, okay? But now a tower's coming down for this person and they can't take their eyes off of you. It's all over your reading. Your person's heartbroken, man, sorrow. 
They're heartbroken. Over this third party situation. Sorrow. Smashing stuff maybe. Like I said, some of your people could have these outbursts. You know. Because they know they want that new beginning in this holy grail cup of love over here. They know they want this kind of companionship with someone. This kind of closeness. This kind of equality okay they know they want it and honestly I'm just thinking about it too underneath this they know when all is said and done and they're stripped of everything else you are for them oh, you are for them they can feel this connection, and that's why it hurts them so much. Your person is heartbroken over this cancer. For real. For reals. <laughs> but it's late, and I'm getting tired and all relaxed. Yeah, this cycle is complete. <laughs> I was just pretty... But it's late, and I'm tired. I was just getting ready to complete it. Yep, the cycle's complete. It's time for me to go. Here I go. <laughs> ah. I was just talking about closing up this reading, even though it was really fast. Um, but yeah, Cancer, the last cycle is over, okay? the Like I said about the Universe card, my darling, my darling Cancers, this isn't just a completion card. This is a graduation card. Huh? It took you so much effort in yourself and the journey that you're on and your future and your pentacles and your life and everything you're healing number one okay it took you all of that effort and you deserve to go into this new cycle look at where you're going okay your steps are lit up in gold <laughs> And you're walking into the new cycle kind of like a princess. Ah, with those glittery shoes on. Cancer. I think your person is heartbroken because they know that they sense that they're losing you here. They sense. They can feel it. They can feel you leaving the scene. Cancer has left the building, right? It's, heartbreak. it's breaking their heart because they know now the kind of soulmate connection they want to be in, okay? Yeah, and they, I feel like they didn't realize it before, you know? Yeah, I feel like it's coming to an end, but I, once again, I'm seeing a person's heart here. Someone could definitely be having some heart issues. And, I, you know, it's on the death card here. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But um, I'm seeing an, a heart issue or like an artery, maybe a clogged artery or something. You know, the Three of Swords could stand for needing surgery as well. So for, for some... For some of you, your person is having, they could be end up having some serious heart issues or serious health issues. That's not going to be for everyone, by the way. But yeah, I'm seeing some, some health issues here. Interference. Honestly, these are their thoughts, man. Your person's thoughts. They, the scenarios that they make up in their head just grow like these roots and they take over everything. Your person's mind is messed up over you right now, Cancer. Messed up. Just completely filled. And uh, ew, I just, I don't like it. I feel like, um, yeah, I, I don't like this energy. feel like yeah it's just it's it's intertwined and in, and in, uh, you're intertwined in every single thought that they have how's that let's just say that 
and this person could be over drinking as well over indulging right now yeah I feel like they want to make you an offer here but it's a beginning stage this is beginning stage communication okay this is a beginning stage offer this is a can we be friends that kind of thing or you know a cute little I'm sorry or I think you're gonna get maybe a quick message or something especially if they've been drinking if this person's been drinking I'm gonna bet they're gonna message you <laughs> but it's it is gonna be simple and uplifting okay cancer it'll be simple and and a quick one um, very simple and uplifting like it'll make you feel good okay there's a lot of sunshine in this window it's gonna make you feel good all right what else can you show me yeah because this person I feel like they want you they need to make a decision cancer this is too many to find they need to make a decision in love what's it gonna be I feel like this person just needs to communicate their truth they need to cut something out okay yeah that's what I'm feeling like all right let's get Jubilatus is staring at me here. What else can you show me for Cancers? And honestly, Cancers, this is just a quick update, my babies. I wonder how quick this is actually going to be. Probably 40 minutes. I'm guessing 40 minutes. All right, what else can you show me? Church, yeah. I feel like Cancers, you should probably stay on your... Just stay, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, right? I feel like this person, um, the divine is out here, so this person's getting some kind of karma, I feel, or some kind of lessons are being learned here. Your person is going through it, I feel. But they need to do the right thing and cut something out. They've got choices to make in love, you know? I think your person just wants to be happy and you are their happiness they want to come towards you they want to choose love over money I feel your person feels trapped your person feels trapped where they are kind of stuck right now and you're just standing in your truth you're standing in your power cancer you know I feel like you're being very um, graceful okay and gracious and just quiet okay um, but and fairly receptive but you want people to approach you with the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth or you're gonna cut them out of your world without batting an eyelash or breaking a sweat you know so that's where you both stand right now your person is not happy at all they've been talking to people that may be feeding them illusions about you even cancer um, or telling others your person secrets as well that's too many jubilatus they're and their butt heard about that too yeah people their their secrets could start coming out into the light here or have been perhaps have been this thing was about money that's the big secret that's coming out this is about money I think the divine is bringing down the tower for your person so that they can see wherever they were remember when I said in the beginning your person had a choice it was either love or money you're the love cancer they want a new beginning pointing right right at you they feel like a fool because they chose the money they chose the money and now 
whoever it is they're with, wh wherever it is they're stuck. Your person could even be in physical jail, okay? But for those of you who your person isn't in jail, they just feel very trapped right now, stuck and kind of held down. Um, and their secrets are coming out. Their secrets are coming out, but their tower is also coming down. That whole thing is coming down here. They, this person needs to communicate. Ugh, this is really bad energy. Cancer, your person. Ugh. <laughs> oh, why? Okay. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Cancer? I'm getting tired. Let's, um... Let's see if we can get you some advice. I think your person might even just, their energy, it's making me feel anxious. I wonder if I'm going to ever get away from the table tonight. That's what I'm kind of wondering tonight, Cancer. Honestly, I would even do an extended on this, but to be honest with you, Cancer, I'm just kind of wiped out today. Um, okay, what advice do you have for Cancers? What advice do you have for Cancers? I hope this resonated with you guys. You're my faves. You're my peeps. You're my favorite people. You really are. A leg up. Yeah, yeah, this feels like a never ending story. It does. It feels like a never ending story, Cancer. It really does. And it feels like your heart is trapped in a glass bubble, you know? But the divine is out here saying, you know what? It's all right. We're out here with you, we're here supporting you. You know, wishes are coming. They're be, they're dropping down for you. I think this 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 is going to start moving forward. It, it, it will, because this bear, this mama bear, is waiting for the cub to climb on its back, and then it's going to start walking again. This is going to move forward. The divine is out here to lift you back up. They're here to lift you back up, Cancer. You're going to start moving forward with the help from the divine. Because it does feel like a never-ending story. And get outside, into the community, you know. Walk around, get into nature. I've been like, you know, I go out, I feed my birds, I walk around. Feel the wind in your, in your hair, you know. Get out there, Cancer. Something that was dead. You know, here's the thing. This is like transformation, okay? This is the death card, really. Whenever something dies, something new is born from that, okay? So get ready, because things are going to start moving here. It feels like a never-ending story, that, like you're stuck. It feels like your heart is trapped in a glass bubble, and it feels like you're stuck. All right? But you're not. It's about to get moving. It is about to get moving. The divine is here saying, come on, let's, let's keep going. Push it a little bit further. You know, and that's with your new beginning. That's with your new beginning. I mean, the old cycle probably tired you out. Yeah, you've been getting your rest and your sleep and everything and taking good care of yourself, but you had to kind of, you've got to get out of this mindset that you're stuck here. Okay, because you're really not. You're going to start moving forward. Okay, you'll feel it. You'll know. A week from now, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I started moving forward. <laughs> you know, to those of you who haven't already, right? Yep. I think the divine is going to help you here. I really do. With an exchange of gifts, you know. I really, I really feel like they've got your back. That makes sense. What else can you show me for cancer? They know how you feel, though, about this never-ending story thing. They do. They know totally how you feel, honey. But, you know, maybe this, this might not be for you. 
here's the thing you have to think okay you know what I'm seeing here what I'm seeing is maybe take a momentary pause okay and look at this the whole time you've been sitting here like holding your head in your hands thinking this is a never-ending story my heart is trapped in a bubble remember how I said it feels like your heart is trapped in a bubble all right what if cancer what if you spent all of this time feeling blue like this see how she's like grayed out there's no color left in you what if you felt like felt like this but you didn't realize that you know maybe when maybe when you come face to face with your person again you're gonna think do I even really is this even for me anymore okay let's say it like that is this even for me anymore right this thing that you think is a never-ending story that you think has your heart trapped in a bubble maybe it's not even for you anymore because remember uh, where is it yeah 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 I know I should get a, I should get a lot neater with my readings yeah yeah where is it though didn't we see the world card right the world card the graduation card where you put in a ton of effort into yourself well you've changed from the last cycle to this one from the last time this person saw you to now from the time that they left you to now you've worked on yourself you've healed what did I say you've done all of that you've elevated don't you think maybe in all of that work and all of that changing in in your self cancer maybe they're not for you anymore the divine is saying think about it just take a momentary pause and think about it because you've done a lot of growing and you've done a lot of changing and the divine I think just wants to make sure that you really really know what it is that you want but most of all this is a mother and her cub you know they want the best for you cancer they want you the divine wants you to have what's for you okay so I think they're just kinda asking everybody alright you know what just take kinda chill like I have been tonight right just kinda chill and think what if this person comes back and talks to you cancer are they still for you only you know that only you are going to know that so anyway cancer that's what I have for you tonight my darlings oh I love you um, I hope this resonated with you guys <laughs> it's, it, it was just a really weird random I was called to the table for you I don't know I I don't know cancer I hope it resonated with you I know it's not going to resonate for all of you but I love you guys um, if it did resonate with you please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel and help it grow um, yeah I I just I can't stop saying that I love you guys because I do <laughs> all right listen cancer um, take care of you I love you um, I'll probably see you tomorrow or or the next morning okay and peace out